All right, had a little technical difficulties there um, in between the last part and this one. Uh, apparently, my second hard drive that I used to do this stuff, I filled up my uh, uh, filled it up. <laughs> These videos are really large. Uh, what we're going to do here is just cut out this belly line. That's the curve, uh, the curve that you see right here, where it curves together. That comes up to the front here, just in front of the nose cone. Now you can see the nose cone starts right here. So we're going to draw in a curve, and then we're going to remove everything from the curve left. So we'll go ahead and use my cheat lines here. Uh, just uh, with the pen tool, all you got to do is you just you click to start a path, and you just keep adding anchor points, and eventually you can come all the way back around and end your anchor point. So we'll click over here to where we start the other side automatically connects the two as you should see and um, we're going to go ahead and encompass this entire area so there we go we have a complete path here now what we want to do is we want to add an anchor point right here to make the curve then we'll take our selection tool here grab that point just drag it up right up here to the center which is we're going to use these rivet lines here as the center and then uh, gives it a good curve. You can drag these out if you want to adjust the curve a little bit. Right click, make selection. Okay. Then we're going to find what layer we painted our belly on. Thought it was that one. Oh, no, it's this one here. Okay, yeah. And we're just going to hit the delete key. There we go. Then we can go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Because, hey. Nobody likes a dirty texture. There we go. So we'll do the same thing for the rear. Um, find my, there's my cheat lines for the rear. All right. My daughter is still watching a stream cube volume, by the way. So I apologize if it is disturbing you. In the background, maybe she'll become an extreme coupon and save us money. And I won't have to make YouTube videos to help other people that in turn helps us if I get enough views. <laughs> there we go. Make selection, same thing. I'm gonna hit delete. All right, well, we can just get rid of the rest of this because we don't need it. There we go. So there's where the gray belly meets up on both ends. Nice and pretty, huh? All right, now we're going to go ahead. These black lines here or is eventually going to be the blue line that is here. And then the smaller one is the green line. This is where they cross the belly texture. Now, it took a lot, lot, lot of trial and error to get this part right. So... This was a lot of flipping back and forth between Flight Simulator and Paint Shop. And you got to make your adjustments, then go back into Flight Simulator and look at your save texture. And it's moving it pixel at a time. <clears throat> it's very, very time consuming, and that's the only disadvantage to having a paint uh, aircraft where the, uh, the belly textures are belly and top are separate from the main fuselage it really creates a nightmare for painters especially if you have one that uh, connects on these particular types of paints um, if you have a texture that if you have a texture that goes from the fuselage onto the tail let's just say I, I don't want to be you it, it's a nightmare for lack of a better word make selection I've already made this the blue color here and make sure yeah I made a new layer good I'm gonna color this in it's on the cheat layer make sure it's all colored in here good and now we're gonna do the same thing for the front control D get rid of that selection because it some reason selections in Photoshop eat up resources, system resources. 
Especially when you have a computer that is six years old like mine. These people on these extreme couponing shows are really ridiculous. And now I hear my four-year-old running towards me saying, Daddy Austin has a booger. <laughs> yeah, I was, you, you don't have to whisper. You might as well just <laughs> say it now. Okay, I'll come fix it in a second, okay? Oh, the joys of having children. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that one. All right, good. So our belly's done. We just need to paint the uh, the registration on the on the uh, front part, front bit here. Um, six two four dash seven hundred in the blue text. So that's what we'll do here. Six two four dash seven hundred. And adjust the size of it. I think it was like 12. Yeah. 120 again. And let's look at that. Yeah. And it's going to be in line with the bottom of that door there. It actually goes almost the whole length. So. There we go. About 200 looks even better. Looks even better. This is the door that opens out towards us. As if you're, look, you're looking at the bottom of the plane here. I'm going to duplicate it. Bring it down. 180. Poof. Okay. And then also, they have the text 700 right there where the... Uh, where the gray meets up. So we're going to edit, we're going to rotate that counterclockwise and center it up there. That's where that goes. Now we'll also go ahead and do, as you can see from this is the cockpit roof. So they have a 624 on the cockpit roof of the aircraft. We're going to rotate this one 90 degrees clockwise and it is slightly larger maybe 18 120 that's better. That makes me feel better and we'll center it up there. There we go. Alright our aircraft is completely painted all we got to do now is our engines and tail and winglets, which we can go ahead and do the winglets now. Um, should have plenty of time. Yeah, we got plenty of time. So we'll go ahead and mark the winglets, get them done. <clears throat> Alaska's winglets, it's just two lines, two cheat lines, so it's, it's really simple, and it's even simpler. Um, go to your winglet, winglet layer, that was down here, yeah, I want to use the uh, left outer, where's left, there's left outer, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we can still do it in our, in our paint texture, we just had to make sure we're doing it in the right spot, I did a little bit it goes right where the curve is so right about here um, yeah a little bit wider than that and we'll go ahead and color that in and we'll do the second line right on top of it here it's about as wide as the space between the two So we'll go ahead and mark it. And we can trim that up a little bit. Make it look a little bit neater. Uh, 
Uh, these two are exactly in line with each other, the left outer and the right outer. Yeah. So it makes it easy for you. All you got to do is just duplicate this and drag it straight down. And it'll be in line. In theory. Ooh. No. It is not. So we'd have to get these aligned with one another. Alright. Good. Also we need to trim this blue line off the top of this because that is actually a um, it's a part that fits within here and we don't need any paint on it because it's not supposed to be painted over. So we'll go ahead and trim around it. There we go. All we're doing now is just really just cleaning up. Make sure everything's clean. Looks good to me. Alright, so we are done with the master texture. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And we're going to close it. I'm not going to need it anymore after this. Well, we will. But just not right now. So, now we got another kid, man. So, when this is done, uh, when we come back, we're going to go ahead and do the engines and the tail. See you then.